All right, hello, Jiminian. Last but not least, Jiminian. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is a pop up love reading, all right? For Jiminian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, all right? I forgot to mention on the other two videos if you guys have questions about getting readings, you know what to do. Check the description box, all right? Who's coming towards you? Okay, so the Ten of Cups, it could be a Piscean, a water sign. All right, I'm getting whoever's coming towards you. They are, they're, they're coming towards you with good energy. They're very happy. I'm getting like somebody has a big, beautiful smile. This person enjoys wearing matte lipstick. If it's a female, matte lipstick. I'm getting bright colors or very unusual colors. I'm also getting to like somebody with a very unusual hair color as well. What they do for work, the Nine of Cups. Wow, this person is like... This person is like really okay. Nine of Cups. I'm getting. I'm getting what they do for work. They don't. They probably don't work. Somebody could just be a uh, maybe a, a spoiled brat, a rich kid, or a, a um, trust fund baby or something like that. Because the Nine of Cups is living the good life, getting what you want, making it. All right, having shit easy. Just you know, being a scholar. So um, they could be a scholar, a genius. So this person could be like a researcher. Or they just, they're a scholar for a living. They study all the time. They're studious. They read. But I'm mean, like, this person doesn't really do anything strenuous or stressful for their job. They could sit, they could have, I'm getting like somebody sits at a desk or like somebody files paperwork or I'm definitely getting a job where they pretty much wear what they want, do what they want. The job is very easy, but I'm getting the job pays very well, nine of cups. It affords them nice things. This, this person is very happy. All right, yeah, we have the six of wands. Yeah, this person is very successful. That's the important message about them. They're very successful. I'm getting two. If this person is a musician, they are the they are a beast. I'm getting somebody with a beautiful voice. If they're not a musician, they have a beautiful speaking voice. Their vo their voice is beautiful. I'm getting two. Their projected image is beautiful. They're very happy, jolly. Okay, this person is very optimistic. They're always like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It'll get done tomorrow or the universe will work it out. Or So this person definitely believes in magic. They're very magical and spiritual and they have visions. And So I'm getting a Pisces. I'm also getting two. This person is an illusionist, a master illusionist. They could have uh, this part. I'm getting somebody with Black Moon Lilith and the 12th house or Black Moon, Moon Lilith and Piscean and the third deacon. So they're in this person's illusionist. They can invade, they can hear your thoughts. They can invade your dreams. They can really tap into your emotions. This person, I'm getting, as soon as you encounter this person, they absorb you. They can, it's like they're inside of you. This person is like, I don't know. I feel like their energy is very heavy, but I'm getting, it's very warm, very welcoming. They, I feel like it's not overwhelming. You're just like, whoa, I can, I like, I can feel you. Like, wow, yeah. I feel like, so I'm getting, there's, there's a very spiritual connection here with this person. Or a very emotional one. What's the Ten of Cups about them? What else? I feel like, too, this person genuinely wants you to be happy. Like, this is someone, this is someone who likes to see other people happy. This is someone who likes to see other people succeed. This is like someone who is, who is honestly and genuinely a, a, a successful, supportive friend who enjoy, they like to see other people doing well. So they're very supportive. Yeah, that the hanged man, they're very enlightened. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting like this, like I said, an, illusion, an illusionist, hanged man, king of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. Interesting. So this person is very well off. They're very established. Okay, somebody, this person is a provider type. They could be an earth sign. Definitely getting Pisces though. The two of wands, they are, they look like, it looks like they are single. I'm getting like they're weighing their options right now when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love. I'm getting to, they're looking for a place to live. All right, I'm getting right now where they are currently staying. They're trying to decide if they want to stay, if they want to go. I'm getting like somebody lives in a very nice apartment. So I'm getting like, you, they have like a pool, the, the high rise has a pool. Okay, somebody stays on like, somebody stays in like a penthouse on like a top floor or some shit. I'm getting like somebody is two floors from the top. Or something like that. But I'm getting like if this person lives by you, they, they live above you, okay? But I feel like they want to move from they, they want to move. It could be very expensive where they live. Alright, so they could be like looking to move, or they, they could be looking for somewhere to live at this time. Or this is what they do for people. They help people find places to live. Alright, we have the magician. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting like somebody's an alchemist here. Yeah, some, this this person. They they make the impossible possible. Yeah, I'm being like I'm being like Jupiterian, someone who's very Jupiterian. This person could have Jupiter and Pisces. They could have this person could have um 
this uh, this person could have Venus in Leo or Venus in the 11th house and the second deacon or moon in the sixth, the fifth house, second deacon. So I'm, I'm saying somebody is very Jupiterian. They're very fortunate. All right. So like, or somebody is like, I'm getting a Pisces or a, or a sage. I'm also getting to a grand chime. All right. So somebody's very talented here, very skilled. I mean, like, I'm getting like an earth angel here. Like somebody is an angel incarnated or some shit. They're very magical. Like somebody just... Somebody just like waves around like doo -doo -doo -doo, and like their life just, you know, rainbows and shit like that. Just magical fairy dust and shit. Yeah. So somebody's very magical. I'm getting like, this is a very magical connection. You're like, damn, you, I feel like, I feel like even when this person is going through shit, they're still happy as hell. Like they, they still smile. They're happy. They're positive. They're upbeat. You're like, wow, how are you so calm in the midst of all this chaos? All right. I'm going to just have a great, they just have a great attitude. This person has a great attitude. Yeah, we have the two of swords. They are impartial. They don't, I'm getting this person does not let, they let, they let shit roll off their back. They're very impartial when it comes to life. When they, when they go through hard shit, it's life. When they go through good shit, it's life. When things change, it's life. When they get fired, it's life. Somebody is just very, they just go with the flow. I'm getting like somebody just go with the flow. Like, okay, well, I can't, you know, I, I lost that. Okay, it's life. I'll get it back. Or they're just, they're very unbothered by like, hardship or whatever they're just very optimistic yeah the the uh knight of swords and the four of wands but yeah i mean this person is they always they, they always seem to pick themselves up four of wands yeah so i'm getting this person they could be um it's they they, they it looks like it looked like it, it was looking like they were stuck but i see like they're not they're they're quickly getting back on their feet so i'm getting i'm getting because they have such a positive attitude this person just pulls in a lot of positive energy and shit. What they do for work. So I'm getting like they're a scholar, like they're like a Buddha type or um, they could be a motivational speaker. Because like when I see energy like this, when I see somebody who's so positive, so optimistic, so love and light, this is like a mode, it's like a genius. Somebody with North Node and Pisces and the second deacon. All right. It's like an alien type, someone who's like all love. It's like it's kind of unheard of, you know, because we live in such a dark world. This person's like, hi. They just, you know, what's the nine of cups? Because I, I kind of feel like you could be a little bit somber here. Who is this again? Oh, Geminian. Okay. What is the, what is the nine of cups? Okay, the king of swords. Yeah, I'm getting this person's a scholar. They're very, they're, this is why they're so positive. See, the King of Swords is somebody who has reached some, somebody who knows who has reached a level of mastery in a like. Um, how do I put this? They say it takes ten thousand hours to to uh, master a subject. This person has like forty thousand hours or something. So I'm getting like somebody with a master's degree. Like this, if if you ask like this person, if they if if they study astrology, numerology, if they study if they study animals, they know everything about that shit. If they study astrology, they know everything about that shit. If they study fashion, they know everything about fashion. I'm getting whatever this person does, they know every nuance. They know all the ins and outs of this shit. They do this shit. Like, so I'm getting that's why they're so positive. They're, they're very confident because of their knowledge. Somebody's very knowledgeable. I'm getting a scholar. All right, this person could this person be, can be bilingual as well, but I'm getting this person is a genius. They have a G, they have a brilliant mind. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting you could be dealing with an Aquarian too. Like they just detach from shit. When shit happens, when human shit happens, they just, okay. They just detach. It's like, can't get sad, can't get mad, can't get angry, can't get frustrated, just no emotion, just nothing. Just, okay, it just is what it is. Like, you know, cause Aquar Aquarian rules flow. They just go with it, they just go with that shit. Like, all right, well, it is what it is. But I feel like somebody knows something. That's why they're able to do that because it's like their, their knowledge, their experience allows them to be carefree like this. All right, I'm getting to this person's unencumbered. All right, so that, you know, there's a pl that's a plus two. They don't have any, they don't have any responsibilities or they don't, I feel like they don't have any baggage. All right, what's the nine of cups, the king of swords? Okay, the queen of cups, they're very loving. <laughs> This, this person is like a, I don't know, like a saint or some shit. I'm getting they worry a lot. I'm getting this person, they worry about upsetting people. They, they worry about not being loving. They worry about being mean. Was I, was I too mean? Am I being too harsh? Did I, did I hurt their feelings? Like they, 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 this, this person, I'm getting like a, if you ever watch, if you ever watch like a Big Bang Theory, I'm getting like Sheldon energy, like Aquarian. Like somebody's a real live nerd or something. Or, um. Somebody's very avant-garde. They're just this person's very unusual. Yeah, we have the three of pentacles. 
Yeah, because I mean, like somebody, yeah, Aquarius, Aquarius rules friendship. So it's like this person, friendship is very important to them. When they lose their friends, they get they get angry. They when they when they um when they fall out with their friends, they get very anxious or they, they feel very guilty about it. They this person really values their friends and their relationships. I'm getting if you're dealing with an Aquarian, yeah. You know, they they value community, they value unity, they they value togetherness, friendship, fraternity, yeah. Aquarius rules that shit. So it's like when they don't have friends or when they're not in a group or when they're alone, they 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 you know, they get anxious and shit too. They, they, they get all, I feel like this person gets all up in their head and shit about how they treat people, how they talk to people. Do people like them? Did I say that wrong? So I'm getting like Aquarius, Piscean, Sage. But this person, they're very sweet though. Okay, yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. They, they come from a very good family. I'm getting their family pressures them. They work with people. They're well to do. All right. We have the seven of swords. Yeah, I'm thinking this person hides their feelings. They they could be a little bit cowardly. Yeah, the five, yeah, they avoid confrontation. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm getting Aquarius. Yeah, I'm getting they they could this person too. I'm getting their family may not like you, so they 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 avoid you in order to keep the keep the peace amongst their family. Okay. What is, the, what is the Six of Wands important message for this person? Or this person may know that your family does not like them, so they just avoid you. They just, they're going to avoid you, or they're just going to keep their distance. All right, what's the Six of Wands important, person, important message about this person, please? The Six of Swords. Wow, this person is very gifted. I feel like if there's any chaos or anything going on between the two of you, they're just going to move on. Yeah. I feel like they're very, I feel like, I feel like this person is going to, they're very successful though. Yeah, we have the emperor. This, damn, three sixes. All right, we have the, we, this is like, that's like the best, okay, this person, I, I'll be willing to bet you, this person has a uh, Libra rising. They have the mark of the beast in their chart, so they actually have they actually have planets and they have planets in these placements: the six of wands, which would be Leo, the second deacon; the six of cups, which would be Aquarius, second deacon; and the I mean, not a, a six of cups is Scorpio, second deacon, and Aquarius, six of swords, second deacon. So this person has placements in all those respective signs and all those respective deacons. So if you look at their birth chart, it's a giant devil's head, or they have double D's in their chart. This person's definitely a grand trine. They have def they have they definitely have deltas in their chart and shit. I'm getting like somebody is like this this somebody's a beast. Like somebody has the mark of the beast. I'm getting six six six. I'm also getting two like yeah this this somebody's very special or something. I'm getting Libra energy too. Or I'm getting Luciferian and I'm getting Luciferian energy as well. Because we all know that Lucifer or Libran, they were born of sea foam. They don't have any parents. <laughs> so it's like they were, you know, an uh, immaculate conception. So I'm, I'm getting like somebody here is like a, I don't know. But with the six, with the six is I'm getting this, this person's, they're, they'll be back. They're going to come back around. I'm getting a reunion, a reconnection between the two of you. This is definitely someone that you have dealt with in several lifetimes before this one. I'm getting y'all go way back. This person, they may know that. They, they may be aware of the, the past life connections. I'm getting this person, they're, they're real deep. They're, they're into the deep sign. They're into that shit. They're into that. Yeah. This person's into like aliens. I'm getting, I'm getting they are an alien and shit. They're an alien too. Yeah, I was getting that. They're, this person could be a black robe as well. Or a gatekeeper, a grand overseer. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of major cars. Or I'm getting, I'm getting like a lot of this person is really blessed. Like somebody is gifted as hell. All right, let's see. So this could be like someone who's an engineer astronaut like whatever I'm, I'm gonna like somebody is gifted like on some 
uh, astronomical types, like some Jeopardy type shit. Like somebody's Jeopardy smart. <laughs> All right, let me pull a, gyp a gy uh, gypsy card. Yeah, I, we have reunion. Yeah, we saw that, the reunion, and we have your sweetheart. So I'm getting this is your boo. This is your boo thing. I'm getting this person has been your boo thing for many lifetimes. You guys, yeah, enemy. I'm getting in this life, you guys. I'm getting the first, and you guys are... You guys are coming off as enemies right now or foes. But I'm getting like you, need, you have to warm up to this person. Because I feel like they know who you are. You don't know who they are. You don't, you don't know who you are. But I feel like they know. They're like, man, I, I know who you are. You're, you're my soulmate. Or, but I feel like they don't. They, they probably they haven't told. Of course, yeah, I don't think they're going to tell you that. But I feel like this person knows something that you don't know. Yeah, we have the Lord. Yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting, first of all, both of you can both of you come from a royal family. So I'm getting in a past life. This person was in the royal court. Yeah, oh, we have all the we have all court cards. Yeah, somebody was a lord or a lady in a past life. So I'm getting like somebody comes from a somebody has a royal bloodline. Yeah, the six of wands, that's that's the Leo card. That's royalty. Six of swords, those are royal cards. So somebody has royal blood. I'm getting so do you. Or something. I'm getting this person in a past life was like your one of your suitors or your concubines. But I'm getting you guys fell in love. All right. I should start doing past life readings. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.